She can't sleep with other guys, but you can sleep with other girls. And when I talk about this to clients, they always say, oh, well, hey, that's not fair. That's a double standard. Yes, it is. Okay, and they're like, well, how do you get around that? The key is... What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about the different rules and boundaries with your main rotation girl. And by the way, rotation means basically like a harem girl, like a fuck buddy, a girl you're seeing for repeats. Okay, on a regular basis. So before we get into that, if you are new to the channel, this channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice. Press notification bell and subscribe and you'll be alerted of new videos every single day. So the rules for the main rotation girl. First of all, as you're building a rotation, the main one will typically be the hottest, coolest one. So with that particular girl, there is going to exist one way monogamy. What that means is she can't sleep with other guys, but you can sleep with other girls. And when I talk about this to clients, they always say, oh, well, hey, that's not fair. That's a double standard. Yes, it is. Okay. And they're like, well, how do you get around that? The key is once the girl likes you enough, I put that out there as something that's non-negotiable. Okay. And the girl would rather stay with you than say, oh, this rule. So <clears throat> you first need to build investment. Investment comes in multiple forms. There's temporal investment from spending time together. There's emotional investment where you guys are actually hooking up. So you build that stuff up. Now she's very into you. And then I tell her, listen, I want to keep seeing other girls on the side. I really care about you a lot, but I want to have some sexual variety. And if they say, oh, well, can I see, see other guys too? No, because I just have as a, as a requirement for the girl I'm seeing that I don't want her seeing other guys. Oh, well, that's not fair. Or that's, that's a double standard. I say, yes, I know, but this is just how it is. If you want to stick around, that's fine. If you don't, you know, you don't have to keep seeing me. But I make it clear that if they go and hook up with another dude, that I will drop them instantly. And they know that I'm serious about that. And it also helps to have a bunch of other hot girls around that they know about because then they see, okay, they could be replaced. Okay, if they want to leave, there's just going to be a girl just like them that comes in. It doesn't mean they're not special, but you have the ability to bring in another girl that will be okay with those rules. I tell them, listen, monogamy isn't natural. The divorce rates are so high and cheating is so rampant because people have urges to do these things and they're just going and doing them anyways just behind their partner's back i'm telling you up front i'm going to be seeing some other people you know that's just how it is okay but i care about you the most etc and, and you know you treat her like a girlfriend for all intents and purposes you're going out on dates you're sharing lovey-dovey moments, etc. Um, not to be confused with simping. It's okay to, to have a strong emotional connection with a woman. Whenever I type stuff like that or when I put the six month anniversary of my girlfriend, oh, look at him simping out. No, you guys are losers that are saying that. You don't have any girls most likely. It, there's nothing simping about having a strong emotional connection with a girl that you care about. People just freely throw that around. Oh, he counts ladies to simp. Okay, 1,369 girls makes me a simp. Oh, um, he's living in the house with girls, he's a simp. Yeah, who wouldn't want to live with three hoppers and girls? Okay, don't be a simp, go, go sit in your basement and jerk. So I also have a rule that they don't lie. I caught one main chick that I was pretty close with in a lie and I dropped her instantly. Okay, so there's no lying. There also should be no disrespect. Okay, you should make it very clear that you don't tolerate disrespect. It doesn't mean, this isn't running like a dictatorship or a, a tyranny or something like this, where it's like my way or the highway. This is basically like the simple boundaries that you enforce. Okay, number one, I'm gonna be seeing other girls. Number two, you're not gonna be seeing any other guys. Number three, like we're gonna be having threesomes and foursomes, et cetera. Uh, um, you're not gonna be lying ever. You're not gonna be disrespecting, okay? And that's pretty much it. Like there isn't, it's not there's this long list of things they must adhere to. You guys just go about, have your fun, etc. You see other girls on the side as you see fit and you grow a, a relationship and a bond together. And it's that simple. And I think it's very healthy in a relationship to talk about your problems and address them in a calm and civil manner and try to see the other person's point of view because lots of times communication is the, they're seeing it one way and you're seeing it a different way and you're not even clear on how they're seeing it or where they're coming from because you haven't spoken about it. So whenever there's an issue or some dissatisfaction about something, I like to just address it straight on, have a civil, calm, adult conversation. Okay, when I do this, you feel this way. I'll try not to do it like that anymore, okay? When you do this, I feel like this. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't do that anymore, okay? That sounds really you know, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. But this is how adults behave when you're in a relationship. This is how a healthy relationship functions. Other than that, I don't let her really go out and get drunk with her friends, okay? If she's gonna go out into a public setting where there's going to be a bunch of other guys around, I wanna be there or I don't want her going. Even if you trust her a lot, when she's out with other friends that are single and alcohol is involved and, and they look hot and stuff like that and guys are hitting on them, you know, you don't want to put them in those situations. It's not that you need to shelter them from the world. 
but you don't want them, you know, being all tipsy and stuff like that and getting hit on by guys. Make sure that as your game gets better that you keep your quality standards high. You want it, you want your main rotation girl to be the hottest, coolest one that you have the most chemistry with. Okay, so don't settle for an average girl. Don't settle for a hot girl that's, you know, got a whole bunch of internal issues. Okay, so so find that full package girl. You deserve it and dare to be great. Okay, if you need help getting there, fast tracking to that quick level of expert level success, jump on that free 30 minute call. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care. Just take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.